So, aquí está toda la muestra de cariño, Juan, de todos tus amigos activistas. Juan, they're all here in solidarity with you. And we have Carlos. Oh, Carlos the man. Yes, Carlos the man con serenata. Ah, oh, no. Yeah. So, vamos con la primera canción, ¿ok, Juan? Todo para ti. This is all for you. Thank you, Lisa makes such a big fuss about it. Okay. Es que queremos que nos traigas parranda, Juan. No, 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 of course, Pete, I haven't seen you guys in a long time, man. This the camarada, you guys over here. Híjole, a ver qué te estás escondiendo allá, Ana. Mr. Dursa, great Wes is here like always, helping out. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad you all showed up. I don't know what you all want to hear from me, but I can yes. tell you what. Uh, uh, you guys have kept me pumped up pretty much and, and talking to me, keep me motivated. Uh, and I, well, I hope, you understand that when, when I'm, I'm, I'm talking this talk about what I've been doing, uh, it's basically, it's about us. And uh, Pete, knowing you most of my life, Steve también, we go back with the Chicano movement for a long time, Mike. So the history is what I'm talking about. Preservation is the objective. 
the goal is to be able to prepare it for the next generation. Uh, and it's, it's simple stuff, stuff we all know. Uh, do we trust each other to make something like that happen? I don't think we do. Uh, in my effort, and what I've done, I've, I put together World Testament with all of my telichas. Yeah, some of you guys see my exhibit, you all wondered, uh, and thank you for your support, wondering about what I'm going to do with my stuff because they tell a story. And I know if I pass it over to any one of you, you're all going to do the best you can to continue that story and even make it better than what I've been doing. But imagine if we were to try to do something like that together and we save the story for Monterey County on labor, the history, the future, the present. Uh, not talking about lowriders, voter registration, all those things that are important to us. Uh, the struggle and the environment, uh, the voter registration we've been carrying on for years. Uh, the wins, the losses, the disappointments with some of our elected officials, man. What can I tell you? You know, helped elect most of them and kind of like, you know, really kind of wish we had better results. Um, but we got to keep them in check. The demographics is changing. And with that, you know, the discussion about uh, the governor uh, uh, having passed a law that says they must, must have ethnic study classes. So if we don't prepare ethnic study classes on what that means, then who's going to do it? So we have our, our history. We have it in print. It can't be denied. It's all in boxes and nobody knows where it's at and sooner or later it's going to go bad and get thrown away. Uh, I, I, in talking, there's been stuff about the old jail. Uh, you all seen some of the exhibits, so you know the potential. Uh, support is there from folks like the Monterey County uh, Historical Society. Uh, uh, Panera, Jimmy, has, has, has said that they'll look uh, via uh, Gary Carnes and uh, uh, Bill Monning and, and John Laird said that they'll look into grants that might be available under the Build Back Better and, and maybe fix up that jail and with hopes because it's federal money uh, and the importance of that jail. Uh, we hope to leverage uh, it into becoming a, a monument so that it's taken care of consistently and forever. Should Biden decide to go into the next group of selection for, for memorials, I mean for monuments, keep in mind, when they did this last one, they did four. Uh, there was, a, I think there was 15 or 20. I forget who was going to look at that, uh, that book that was produced by the state to study it. So they're going to study it, come back with analysis. But as I recall, I think those 15 to 20 locations that we selected statewide that should be considered. The ones that were selected was where he's buried. The 40 acres it, uh, down in uh, uh, Delano, the house that he grew up in. And I believe maybe the house down in Yuma. I believe that was the fourth, but there was four. Uh, and then there was another 15 or a half dozen to follow. Well, guess what? We were number five on that list. If they had gone one more, we'd have a monument. So should the opportunity arise where state legislators would, would support this and, and, and become unified, we as a community have to show uh, what we have. Why select us? Why this place? Since it's already been selected and, and it's a number five, we figure uh, we've already impressed a lot of people. Biden, as you know, on one side he has a Cesar Chavez Vaz, on the other side he has a Bobby Kennedy. Uh, so we don't have to persuade him all that much, uh, and that's a good thing. But we have to be unified in the, uh, the effort of the community to preserve agriculture, the agricultural history, and the essential worker that made it what it is. And I'm talking from the Spaniards, I mean, the natives, because I don't think there was too many Spaniards on their knees building adobe missions. I believe that was the native folks that did that, you know? Uh, so uh, that history is never told. It's never out there. 
it's time to get out there and the opportunities so, uh, are, are presenting themselves. That's an option one. That's the old jail. Uh, as you know, with, with, uh, we have to sue to preserve it because uh, uh, the Board of Supervisors wanted to knock it down. So now they've even put money behind it. So we can actually say money went into it and, and, uh, and this is our, our proof that as, as elected we're willing to do that. So that's what the, uh, to this point, since they're putting up plaques and on the side of the wall, uh, the convincing is no longer the issue. Now it's how long can we take it or, or push for it. And I, I would suggest if we don't push for a, muse uh, a monument, and since there is no monument in the state of California dedicated solely to farm workers, I think this will be an excellent one. Hey, I, wanna, this, this I, uh, I just want to say one thing quickly. Uh, uh, Pineda is the congressman for this uh, area. Yes. How many of you uh, have called his office and, and pressed on this issue? We, you know, we do that. They're going to be they're going to be breaking for the Easter recess. Um, I don't even. They may be broken already. They are broken, but I don't know that <laughs> they're going to be actually in office. But uh, you know, hey, if how about four, uh, what twenty, thirty people here? Um, everybody calls. That office, you do that. I mean, um, Congress responds to the people that contact them, either especially verbally. I mean, you can write letters and stuff, but you send out verbal message. Let us. Uh, we need. We need that jail to preserve our history in this valley. Does that make sense? If you don't know his, if you don't know his uh, number, uh, maybe we ought to get. Maybe we ought to get back to you guys. And let, how does that sound to you guys? Is it something that you'd be willing to do? Yes. yes. Call the congress. Call, yes. call the congressman. Uh, Zoe Lofgren is going to be the new, probably I guess the new uh, person for this district starting I guess next year. But uh, uh, she probably didn't have a clue as to what's going on here. But that yeah. would be a good one to go. She is she is a progressive person. Uh, she was my congressperson in San Jose for for years. Never. She was so popular, she was never opposed by a Republican or a Democrat. She, she was just, she was just continuing, you know, I mean, she, that's how popular she was in, in San Jose. She could be that way here, but she needs to know what we're doing, what's going on here. And so that would be two votes to get that pressure on the administration. And it would be the administration that will get to Biden. Right? You, you just don't go to Biden and say, hey, Mr. Biden, Mr. President, well, this is what we want. You get from, you know, work ground up, right? And so if he's, got, if he's got his advisors suggesting that he really needs to address this issue, that might work. That's what happened when Obama uh, converted uh, Pinnacles to a national park. It wasn't him that decided. It was somebody from below that suggested this is what we need to do. Okay? So just... I don't want to take away from, from. Yeah, and, and, and just, from, just to add to, to add to what Bob's saying. Thank you, Bob. Uh, Bob's my brother-in-law. Uh, uh, let's thank him for for allowing me to stay here. Uh, yeah, he uh, he's the one that, that I'm doing my hospice with. So he's he's uh, doing all the stuff that uh, most people don't want to do. So uh, God bless him, you know. Uh, um, as you know, if Biden does not run for re-election, that means we have two years. So whoever might run uh, for that, that presidency, if he doesn't do it, we got two years to make this happen. Otherwise, somebody else gets in there. And I don't know if they'll have a boss behind them or not, right? But that's, that's that, that reality check on that. So yeah, we can make phone calls, do all that. Uh, there's going to be a couple of stories coming out about the jail soon. Uh, Folks at the Coast Weekly want to do stories, and we're going to talk about that. But primarily, is we have the state law that says everybody's got to do ethnic studies. Here's we have a great location for ethnic studies, and and that's the beauty of it. And everybody, if everybody's behind it like they are now, uh, and how we have been, because that's most of us is, we're machistas at heart now or something. Now we had ethnic study classes and bilingual this and that, and all of a sudden they killed it. So for the last 30 years, nothing's going on. So andamos mitad, calle allá, we're half lost, and the raza just killing each other. I think they need direction. He said, no uno, pues quien? Right? Yeah. Quien? Right. The next generation's going to forget it. 
So, the rest of the line, you all know it. You know, Senorita Pesquando, Biden's gonna be out. Yeah. All that's gonna happen. Uh, and so with that means we gotta move. Uh, you guys are organizers. You don't gotta be put to task. You all know, kind of, off the day, I'll make a phone call today, I'll okay, we'll, we'll see what happens, and you'll be surprised. So we, you never know. It's our history. Uh, uh, guys like Pete, been all of his life involved with labor. Uh, uh, Steve Garcia, you know, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Romero, I've known him for, for 50 years in La Causa. You know, actors, performers, John over here, Mr. Durso all his life. We need to preserve that history. It's going to get lost. We know it. You all know it. Uh, slowly but surely, you know. So that's a great way to do it. And that we already paid taxes for the place. Elected officials are all behind it. That's the beauty of it. They're behind it. We just got to say, hey, you guys been asking for a, a, a vision? Here's the vision. You know, let, let's do this. And, and, and from there, we'll, we'll, we'll turn it, you know, we'll get the, the we don't have to sweat the monthly to monthly uh, maintenance and upkeep, which is usually the hardest task, is why would they want to support this if it's going to cost them money? And if it's a, a monument, we cut through the chase on that right away, you know. And whatever other contributions we can put in to enhance and help, uh, the better, because it's ours, you know. So there's there's that option. There's there's uh, the the one where uh, we've talked with folks at the uh, uh, Boranda Dobi, five acres out there. Uh, that fits perfectly into what would be otherwise a, a excellent tour location for kids to go take tours and all that and get that ESL in there. But they're going to need teachers. They're going to need support. They're going to need all that. So they, uh, uh, but they have to allow buy-in by the community and they kept pretty close to themselves. Uh, and, and we've not been at the table to talk about all this stuff. But since there might be a, a real good need for them to, uh, to take the next step, and that means uh, uh, apply for some of these grants that will help fix that place up so that the health department, which already says, hey, we, you can't use it for large groups. Uh, you got to have eight bathrooms. Eight bathrooms. So if they have 10, let's say, right? Like you have a big quinceanera there or something, a barbecue, a fundraiser. You got to have enough for the toys for the kids. So that, uh, so there's that kind of bottom line. They do not put loans on that place. It's all paid off. So they're, they're not about loans or nothing. They're, they're, they're low and slow. So they're taking care of business, but it's taking a while. So it's slow and not in. They need community input. Uh, and, and they fell back just because that community that they got the input from is slowly uh, 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 sizing itself down and, and stepping out because of their age. And uh, we see that amongst us. So we need to bring in the new blood, as we all know, and, and we need to energize it with actual interviews about our histories, how we all fit into the struggle of, of, of the Salinas Valley, so that when kids start to get uh, involved in it, they can see people they know, they get excited. And, and that helps that next generation. And believe me, they need that poorly, because right now it's, it's sad what I see happening. Everybody's on drugs and nobody cares. Uh, I don't know what else to say, man, but I've been trying to say this over and over so I could only say it once. I'm glad I don't, I, I don't have to say it 37 times here. <laughs> but but the, 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 the Trato Campesino, with, you know, guys, you guys who have been involved with the Trato, you know, uh, are great as a resource for uh, expanding the arts, expanding the arts, drawing people, bringing in the Trato with the, the tours in here, and, and we create a venue for them drawing in our Latino community into the Teatro Campesino so that they empower themselves with that taste of culture. They don't, you know, they don't have culture in the Latino community down here. You don't see libraries with nice tours or you don't see uh, artwork. Uh, uh, you might see arts and crafts in Soledad for the, for the uh, flea market there and stuff, but you're not going to see, you know, what was a, a cultured community, an educated community that likes to read in that. And our, our, we need to do that with, with our raza. We have a lot of talent, and, and we're losing it. We're losing it. They're, they're, they're becoming tractor drivers, and, and that's it. Uh, they they, they got to know they could be more more than what they are, more what they could be. 
Carlos, you're a good example, man. You know, you know, uh, Pete. I remember working with him, driving tractor. He was doing one thing, I was doing the other. Uh, Steve, and, you know, we all worked out in the fields. A lot of us had, had the the opportunity to work with the short handle hoe. Man, that was a blessing for a lot of us because now we could actually say we did it. You know, <laughs> uh, so very few of us. And you, you know, I'm looking at you all. You know who you are because it was that age group. Right after that, it, you know, lawsuits were filed to disband it. But uh, we were that history, and we're the guys that voted for that stuff because we could vote. Our parents could not. So that was a big deal. That that that, that changed civil rights and, and 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 the destiny here in Monterey County for the next generation. So we, but um, it's kind of sad, man. You know the. Lacking, lacking the, the bread and butter of, of, of who we are as a community, our, 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 our participation. I, I have grandparents at Civil War, Mexican Revolution, World War I, World War II, Proud Warriors, Purple Hearts, D-Day, Casablanca, and shit, man, you know, Battle of the Bulge, and it's in a box. It's in a box. This should not be in a box. All your parents, your grandparents, same thing. We all know we could do better. Yeah. I, I just want to say that because, you know, you guys are, are thinking, well, this is a, uh, a Juan, and, you know, let, let's all show him some respect here. I, I thank you all for that. But really, you want to show respect? Respect ourselves. We don't have to be liking each other because of our politics. <laughs> but, man, it's our history. If we don't talk about it, who in the heck is going to do it? They'll slip away. It's not written anywhere. Unless you got newspaper articles like most of us uh, tend to have. Newspaper articles, pictures. Let's tell a story. Over and over, different stories. We've got thousands that we could share. Every time I talk about the Bracero, somebody tells me about how their grandfather was a Bracero. How they ran, they ran to the dust when they saw the dust. They heard about it on the radio, got in the car and left to work and drove all the way to Chular. Drove to Chular so they could be a witness to what happened. I hear all these stories come up. It, it, it's awesome. But unless they're, they're provoked, we're not going to have a reason to talk about it. Out of face, out of mind. Ana, como estas? <laughs> Ana in the house. Meo, <laughs> chole, dad. Ah, uh, Soledad. <laughs> then I got, you know, they're expressing our, our love for each other and that we keep it going, basically. Uh, we love you, Juan. Yeah, well, we need to put that love in a place and show it. <laughs> for the next generation, now we, we love them. We sure do. Because if we don't do it, it's our fault that we didn't show them the love they should have had. And sometimes it's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You know. <laughs> Yeah, a little, a lot of this, right? Yeah, you know, the, the, and set, our, set our kids straight. You know, it's our future. All the stuff we've done for nothing, going to pass it over, and they're going to drop the baton. And they're all going to say, somebody else will take care of it. I'm talking of basic stuff, the sewer lines. You see a bunch of leaves. You see it clogging up, maybe kick the leaves over so the water would run. Simple stuff that people don't even think about. We could all do that kind of stuff. It's, it's, it's our neighborhoods. Yeah. You know, we take responsibility when, when we actually have a taste of it and we feel the sense of pride. How do you get it if you're not involved? <laughs> Back in the old days, they had, they had all the Kiwanis clubs, Lions clubs, Moose clubs, Elks clubs, uh, the, 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 the baseball teams, they had the bowling teams, uh, they had dart throwing. I mean, these guys, I got pictures of all this stuff. The, the firefighters will gather and have barbecues and rejoice amongst themselves, you know, uh, but always that camaraderie to stay together in the community. All those guys faded. Uh, I know because my dad was part of it. He, he sucked me into that. I saw that lifestyle. And then all of a sudden it's gone, you know? And, and really, uh, I, I think part of it is that, that we weren't uh, brought into it. Like, like most of us were not brought into it. I was. But most of us were not. Those that were, we, you know what I'm talking about. The middle class lifestyle, they made those communities what they are. Well, guess what? It fell on our lap. It's on our lap now, guys. You know, what are we going to do with it? We, we didn't volunteer for this, right? You look around and 
uh, the guys that were doing the Veranda Adobe and all those places, they were probably our age when they got involved with it. And if it's 20 years ago and they were 65, they're 85 years old right now. If they were 50, they're 70 and wanting something else to do. So they want to pass the baton over. We got to show that we're ready and, and that we respect everything they put into it, whether we agree with it or not. And because they're going to get a rude awakening when they see all the stuff that was left out and say, my God, you guys have all this? Yeah. This is the history that was always left out, forgotten. And, and some people may be afraid. Any song request, Juan? Ya que tienes a tu cantante allí, dile que te escriba la canción. It's all yours, Juan, so take it away, dile. Come on, Carlos. De colores se visten los campos de la primavera. Carlos, pon el micrófono. De colores se visten los campos de la primavera. A ver, diles otra vez. Uno, dos, tres. Wait, 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 you guys to think a little bit about how we're going to go back to our reservoir of stories that we all think is so sacred to us and they really seriously think about sharing it with the next generation by starting to archive it by by uh, the way I did it but it was by issue I was involved by issue and the things I did uh, but now you can always go back by decade just by looking at the, 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 the dates so chronologically, it's not hard to start giving you a good handle on what we all have. Uh, but uh, Gary Carnes and other people are, are getting grants to ha uh, have students uh, trained in the university to do indexing. Like they do libraries and, and index uh, uh, certain kind of documents. So he got already got supported by a small grant of 3000 So we're going to seek out more money so that we can then uh, spread that to more, more, uh, uh, more training, so more people are skilled at doing it. So we can all do that, teach 
each other how to, how to archive it the best we can. And that way, when we do come together with, uh, let's say something happens a couple of years with the center, we're set to go because they're going to ask us. If, I, if Biden says, what are you going to do with the museum? How are you going to treat it? What have you done? Who are you guys? And we got to be able to show them something, right? We got to. And, and that's all, and we have what we have. So we know we got a lot. We just got to orchestrate and make it, make it, make it tell a story. So it's, so it's, it's obvious that that's, that's the next one would be ours. So for Nestle guys, I mean, let's keep making history and save it. Because uh, there's, there's, you know, we can always fight each other, but there's really, there's so much challenges that we have. Water being a big one, you know, huge. Huge. They we're fighting egg for it. Uh, not here quite yet, but it's around the corner. They're sucking all the water out of the basin, Gonzalez Water Basin. We got four new packing sheds 24 hours a day, sucking water, purifying water. That's a lot of water never been used before. You know, it, it, it helps the, the egg, that's fine, but now it's getting uh, washed away down the Salinas River. We have a saloon, a saloon right here. We, we, we can start dumping in the saloon and have it purify and, 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 and do it and uh, percolate back down through the saloon into the water aquifer and, and rejuvenate our water aquifer. So the things our communities could do, uh, that's one. But the water, it's going to be a big thing. No water, no ag, obviously no ag, no jobs, no jobs, no mortgage, no mortgage, no casita. No water, no light. <laughs> Si se puede, Wes. Si se puede. Si se puede. And why anybody want to say something? Wes is here to record stuff, too. Yeah, right. he, can, he, can, he can keep that. You can always edit it, too, and cut you out if you don't like it. <laughs> can I sing the chorus of a short, a short chorus of a song? I only know the chorus. I don't know. Oh, I please, yeah. Everybody knows it. <laughs> Como la semilla lleva nueva vida Hay en esta primavera Una nueva era. You know that song? Yeah. Como la semilla lleva nueva vida Hay en esta primavera Una nueva era. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Una nueva vida. Yeah, girl. You can always just call it. Hey, hey, have, have any of you guys ever toured the Baranda Dobie? Yeah. Yep. Even know what it's about? Yeah, it's awesome. Possibilities are endless, right? Yeah, check it out. 20 story tall building, wide, long, empty. <laughs> uh, and they need community support desperately. And they won't let go. And, and they have their reasons. I don't blame them. They're afraid of, of, of pushback from the community because they've always kept us out. Now we want in, they know it's time. The new folks there are great people. Uh, the folks I've met on the board are great people. We just got to sit there and talk to them, you know, uh, because they have the same needs we have. Gotta, they got to keep that thing going. So there's no, there's no, there's no uh, uh, Automosity of any type between those those folks or us who, who do this stuff. What, what there is is ganas to do something. Yeah. That they have ganas to do something and they don't want to jump into it without knowing how deep the water is amongst us. And I don't think he realizes how deep the water could be amongst us. You know what I mean? So uh, we have a lot to offer and it, that's all good, but uh, uh, being cautious, hey, hey, look at if any one of you guys. We're involved with a 501c3 nonprofit, no government money involved, no nothing. You be cautious about who you let onto your board of directors and be involved in that. So that's kind of the same thinking. So we have to respect that. They've been working there for a long time. They need support. Uh, you know, sometimes people want to help me put my stuff away. Yeah, when I when I finish with an exhibit, and I see how they pack it. I'd rather pay them to leave it alone. <laughs> I'll do it myself. I'll do it myself. Thank you very much. 
uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 the man, because I see we, with some people, because they want to help, and, 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 and they're helping, but uh, the, the mala peor, you know, uh, and they don't know who we are. Uh, we have a lot to show that what we've done, but for cautionary stuff, for example, I, th I have a lot of stuff that I think is important. Some might have mildew. I donate it to them, and it starts to contaminating the whole place. It starts to spread. So they're very cautious about the, the protocols and all that. So we have to have respect for that. And I think personal because they don't accept my grandma's 200-year-old dress, you know. Uh, and respect that and, and just say, hey, that's the way things are because the way they are. Uh, they can't allow stuff to be in there some places. But one thing, uh, Carlos! <laughs> Gracias! <laughs> Carlos uh, de, de Grifas. Campo <laughs> Verde. <laughs> Sangre Roja. <laughs> Como dice. Um, Hemos dicho. Hola, Sofayo. Uh, pues, aquí, gracias por verme por tantos años, permitirme ser su camarada y tantas veces que hemos estado en la lucha y vamos a seguir. Y como dijo hace rato, sí se puede, así es de que hay que darle para adelante. No, claro, para adelante, no hay otra. Sí, okay. Así es, y, y, y gracias por la amistad. Okay, gracias. Por todo mi... Ya, una cosa de ellos, de, del sindicato de la Unión de Campesinos, que, que, que nunca se enojaron mucho conmigo, cuando un día, un día estaba sentado con unos, unos camaradas que respeto mucho, en, en Fresno, en la conferencia, y de repente mitad de todo el sindicato se levanta y para afuera, haciendo protesta con César. Yo andaba ahí como mitad bodyguard marchando todo y, y, y se levantó este muchacho. I don't want to mention his name, we all know. Uh, Evan is uh, older brother, so now we even know more than who might be. Got up, half the people were walking away in the, in the, in the conference center. Uh, but that's scary because all you know you're here to take your scissors back from the side and uh, the balcony area that's your assignment then you see all this commotion and you're like oh shit <laughs> what is happening you know and, and it's a paranoia type but uh, the biggest thing is like uh, 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 thanks to the sindicato and the members, uh, uh, they don't look at me as, a, as one of the contras because I'm sitting right there amongst them, right? So at that moment, right? So the uh, 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 action needed to be taken by the workers. They found that to be the most peaceful way to do it, walk away, and uh, yeah, they, they, they sent the message quite clearly to those people that needed to hear it. So it was a good bet, you know, the, the union, like everything else, has its challenges. But that was a good example there. Yeah, so it gets ugly, good, 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 bad, but it's like a family. If you don't respect each other for, from what you do from the, the beginning, everything else is phony, bullshit. How many of us are here today right now, like I'm here doing this, and you guys are doing what you're doing because of respect for each other? Not just me, but all what we've done together, you know? Because it's always been that way. Yeah. From Mr. Durso's dad was, was a, mentor to, a mentor to me and so many other young Chicanos. Because they were involved with the Spreckles guys. And we all knew somebody working the Spreckles. We had uncles, tios, dads, uh, family members, you know. We all have that history, you know. So we talk about short end the whole. I mean, we're all connected. All of us. Oh, yeah. So the struggle was all the same. The Firestone guys, it was all about respect because uh, we weren't getting respect after coming back from Vietnam and World War II and, and the, the, the treatment that the, the, the minority got after World War II, the lack of, and it carried on through the 60s that they had to create a civil, a civil rights legislation to say how badly they screwed up in the 50s. They had to do that in the 60s. And then in the 70s, we had to have a social revolution to say, cabrones, you guys still don't get it. That, that's all that would happen from my point of view. I saw it that way. And we had to fight all the way and keep fighting. They, they won't respect the workers. They just hire more, 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 
more people that 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 they could slip under the wire, you know. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a shame, but we're the sons of all that product. And we could do something about it. Caesar always said, the difference between us and them, or the campesinos, you guys. He was talking to a group of us at the Trento Campesino. And uh, he said, you could all vote. You're all U.S. citizens. <laughs> From now on, every one of you guys could vote. Keep track of every high school. Keep track of everybody. They turn 18. They're all being drafted. So we did voter registration. Willie Velasquez, Southwest Voter Registration Project. They did some great projects throughout the county of Monterey, Santa Cruz, San Benito. Historical stuff. It changed everything around here. District elections, we got people elected, judges, supervisors, you know, school board members, city council members because of uh, district elections. Because they said, hey, you guys can vote and the other guys can't. Uh, put down the picket sign. Grab a voter registration card. You know, I'm on those door to door. We found out that when you go to one door, you get people registered. You got to go to six doors before you find the next one. But mm -hmm. us all, everybody in between over 18. You're a citizen. Let's get them registered. By the hundreds. What happened after 2008? The, the, the economic value of, of real estate. Everybody had to move. The landlords, the tenants, everybody had to move. They all had new addresses. Every single one of them. So there's a lot of voter registration we could do. And they want to get registered. People are not happy. They're upset like you and I. And, and, and they're, they're, they're upset they got left out. Tulsa, Tulsa, Oklahoma, good example. It blew away everybody's mind once they found out about it. They, they were done on purpose. How many of our parents always say, Mas mejor no dije nada. I deja me, I deja. All the time we get that. Our patrones tell us that all the time. No digas nada. No hagas pedo. Well, and you, guess what? You want to go inside since it's getting a little bit chilly? Yeah. Well, yeah that, um, that would be nice, guys. I'm gonna... Okay, okay, before we do that, um, this was uh, from a letter uh, by a person who's in charge of making environmental decisions at the national level. And, and uh, uh, there was a list of people, Johnny said that uh, our, our jail was uh, the the top of the bottom, you know, it got cut off. Well, what it says here, this is the person speaking. She's the one that kind of makes these decisions. Um, let's see, okay, hang on a second here. There are really two things we look at most carefully. One is the significance of the site and what happened there. Okay, that's, we know that. It also had to do with which organizations were really eager and interested in working with the National Park Service we can't make anyone into a partner who does not want to be a partner. Nobody from the county was coming forward saying, we are willing, able, and ready to work with you to make this happen. If the county had its way, the jail would have been leveled. That didn't happen. Nonetheless, nobody has really pushed this issue. Uh, John, Johnny is actually on the, in this article uh, saying how sad that was. This was from a, a little, uh, little while back. Nonetheless, the point is, uh, if they don't know that we're really committed to making this happen, it's probably not going to happen because they're, you know, they'll just find somebody else that's more interested in, in whatever it is that they're trying to push. The, the beauty so. of it, the Board of Supervisors already gave nearly a million dollars of our money to weatherize it. And if they give a million dollars, well, there was less than seven feet. It was budgeted for 750 how much they spent, they didn't have to spend all the money. But they ended up spending uh, to weatherize the whole building. It'd be nice to have uh, this go to uh, an organization that wants to uh, push forward the 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 what we're trying, well, we're, the information that we're trying to get forward to. You know, the the workers and all that, the the area in here, rather than somebody like. PG&E coming in and say, well, we'll give you a million dollars to the city, you let us have that building. 
and that could happen. Yeah, you know, could. somebody else could come in that has nothing to do with what we're trying to do. So we need to push this fast and push it hard to to get what it is that we want to make it into a museum for the worker rights, for for what's going on in this valley, for what's gone in in the three counties around here. You know, and and Johnny knows a lot more about that than I do because I'm from San Jose. I don't know much about this area, but uh, I lived my whole life up there. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, uh, just, yeah. Oh, no, I was going to say one last thing. Uh, Carlos is going to have to head out, Juan, but he wants to say goodbye oh, with his final okay. song. Acá anda Carlitos. Carlos. This is one of my favorites. This is one of my favorites, so I want to deliver my favorite to you. Dile, Juan, come closer. <laughs>
situation that uh, I have to decide what to do with my stuff. So I, that we did the will, testimony. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm all in to let's, let's preserve our history. So that, that's what I did with my stuff. It's not being parted out into a thousand pieces. So you can all be assured of that. <laughs> we, record that, mister. <laughs> oh, you sure? uh, and uh, uh, the, other, the other part, is that uh, Horacio uh, had made a presentation to his board uh, about a, a need that I had. Uh, Horacio, maybe you could tell them what the outcome of that, that meeting was. They, um, they said that Juan can use the San Gerardo Co-op as a storage for anything he needs. Yes. Mm -hmm. any of his, uh, can, can, can you say that again? Nice and loud. San Gerardo Maybe. will will have uh, Juan use the land there for whatever storage that he needs to preserve whatever he needs. Juan did a big favor for us in 2005. People were getting sick and he helped us get clean water. And he did it without any pay, he did it without any without anything, just as a friendship. And we got a filtration system. We we got people that that were no longer getting sick. And we have a new water system. And we have so many things to give thanks to Juan. So so that's why the board said, you know, he asked me, hey, can we have some storage over there? I went to the board and told him, hey, Juan needs some storage. And they said, tell Juan that whatever he needs. Let's see. Let's see. Well, hey, I want to thank you guys for signing signing the, the the phone list and all that, so we can contact you. But we do have we do have a book that we put out there on the front table that people can write whatever they want to. And if you like, if any of you like to come in and jot down some notes or message to Johnny. That's what this is for. It's right inside the house here. So I think I'm going to take them in. And you guys are welcome to come in, or as few as you as want to come in. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we can I, make room. We can make room. I, I did want to finish by saying that, uh, uh, and I wanted to question, how many trailers can one put on there? <laughs> one, two. How many do you need? Four. Four. We got, he's got a lot of, four. We, we got enough stuff to fill two museums or maybe three or four. I say that only because uh, it's a good storage for people like us who are up to here with our teliches at the house. As we uh, find a better place for them maybe, uh, that will be considered an option. One of the things I'll, I'll try to do is get financing to lay a pad because they're going to require, you know, wait until this one. So I want to make it as right as possible so that whenever we leave, uh, we leave you guys with something like a pad or, or, or a parking spot like that. So it'll be with that intent. So we need to look to see where a good parking place would be. I'm not the only one that's going to feel that. Uh, and, and that's why I, 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 I pushed the button on four, so God bless you on that. But we, we need to be able to get uh, my stuff because I'm, I, I'm, I think I'm at the front of the line on this one. But after that, there's going to be other, uh, more folks like ourselves 
or are going to need to say, really, what do I do with my stuff? The storage, you've got to put it somewhere. Because it will be gone. Guaranteed. How much stuff are you all lost already? How much stuff are you all lost that's stuck together? That said, damn, that was a good one. That one needed to be saved, right? So uh, if those things happen, uh, let's, let's do the best of what we got. Uh, hopefully we can find some good trailers and, and move them out there and, and get the, the ball rolling so we can get, get that, that little house over here cleaned up and organized so things come out like an in index. So we want to index everything so as it gets transferred from one to another, it's organizationally transferred. Uh, uh, so that it it's ends up structurally or, or documented where it should be, so we can find it when we need to find it. Uh, we we do plan to use that stuff for ongoing exhibits and exhibits uh, in in uh, places that we would be allowed to do an exhibit like we've been doing uh, previous years that we have recorded. So there's a whole group of us that have done this. It's not just me, and those guys are willing to get back on it. Uh, and the measure, this measure the government signed is ideal. It, it gives us a cause. A lot of retired teachers want to do something with their time. Maybe that might be something they could do uh, because it's, it's a sense of pride as well. It talks about us local, local folks. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of work to uh, help categorize and organize everything that Johnny's talking about. I mean, he literally has boxes and boxes and more boxes of material that he's collected over the last 50, 60 years. And, and uh, it's pretty well organized, but it still needs to be documented and, and, and documented. the stuff that, so, so that we actually know what we have. But come on in if you guys want to, if you'd like yeah, to yeah. sign that book or. Yeah.